I'm here at HPE Discover in Las Vegas with Mike Woodacre, and Superdome Flex is something that we've talked about many times in the past, uh, and memory-driven computing, which is also something that I've talked about from the, the machine background, and it seems like those two things are starting to converge. Can you talk about that? Sure, yeah. What we're uh, talking about here at Discover is the fact that with Superdome Flex, we're able today with our production system to deliver large memory platforms up to 48 terabytes in a single operating system. So people can actually start today applying some of the memory driven computing techniques that the labs have worked on with the machine project to, to basically let them run at the speed of memory, gain more real time insights into their data. But the additional thing we're talking about here is the uh, um, other software personality we have available as a research platform on top of Superdome Flex is leveraging the additional learnings from the machine research on how as we look to the future and in ever increasing amounts of memory on a memory fabric how we manage that both from a performance and reliability standpoint and so we've um, put together a, what we call software defined scalable memory that basically lets you compose up CPUs and memory resources on a fabric to just the right size you need for a given application. So, and this is important because as we move into these ever larger data sets, obviously at some point there will be a reliability problem, something's going to break. So by basically just deploying the resources you need for a given application, you're isolating yourself from other parts of the memory semantic fabric. So you have the best chance of you know, getting to completion and not relying on, you know, ultimately a, a memory fabric that could have exabytes of data sitting on it. So it's, it's really bridging from standard product, standard operating systems on Superdome Flex to this future world where we'll have ever increasing pools of memory and CPU. And so when you're talking about composable memory, memory has not been previously part of the composable story that, that HPE has been telling. Is that is that new to this particular offering? Uh, it's it's yeah it's it's if you look at something like Synergy, which is our sort of premium composable platform today, provides you know a great solution for giving you the composability of networking infrastructure, storage infrastructure. What we're doing here is is bringing memory to that composability story essentially. So um, I'm not limited by how much memory I can put in a two or four socket node. I can basically bring as much memory as I need to work on a given problem. And so ultimately is, is we want to take on the challenge of these you know, increasingly large amounts of data and the fact standard CPUs are finding it harder to keep up. As we, as we, you need to get data into memory so you can run at the memory speed. That's the best chance to get high value out of these large data sets in real time because the, the most valuable insights are as, as data is generated, you, you want to take real-time actions on that. So running at the speed of memory rather than the speed of storage can give you that orders of magnitude performance improvement to get more value. All right, well, it's, it's exciting to see aspects of the machine coming, coming out into the market. Into real products, yeah, absolutely. And it just, the story continues to, to get better over time. Um, there's also been announcements earlier this year around the Gen Z consortium getting the 1.0 specification out for that memory semantic fabric that will be industry wide. So, so we'll, you know, cus the key is customers can start today on software applications on a memory semantic fabric, and over time, you know, more of the technologies and, and outcomes of the machine research project will become available not only within HPE but across the industry as well. All right, well, thanks, Mike. Thank you.